Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be opening the Meowth VMAX collector's thing. Comes with the Meowth and the Meowth VMAX. So for this one, I'm just gonna talk to you guys a little bit about uh, not always buying from scalpers or I feel like some collectors or some newer people tend to go off to some of the more expensive of like, hey, uh, certain stuff like Champion's Path, Hidden Fates, Shining Legends, older stuff like that can be cool to collect some of the older sets but it's a little bit expensive because we do have scalpers in anything uh i feel like it's a little bit better if you go around hunting for some of this stuff pokemon's a gamble you're never gonna know what you're gonna find uh, usually what i tend to do is i go gamestop walmart target best buy walgreens also keep an eye on sales online sometimes the gamestop will have online sales sometimes target will have sales sometimes best buy will have sales and most of those places do price match so if you do happen to find something at one place that isn't available at another place don't be scared to pull up those ads or those things most of the times they will honor it um i've seen a lot of stuff where on the internet people are like oh i should just go and start buying stuff from scalpers since i'm not gonna find it or it's gonna be a little bit harder to get by all means you know if you feel like that's what you want to do go for it i'm not telling you not to do that i'm just saying that in my personal experience some of the stuff that I've been able to pull are from loose packs, stuff that people left behind, stuff that most scalpers won't be like, hey, let's pick this up because I can make an easy book out of it. But yeah, I feel like, you know, if you go out and hunt, it's more about the thrill, more about keeping an eye out for stuff, hoping you get lucky. If you're a Pokemon fan, you know that when you're doing anything, whether it be a battle or whether you're playing the game, trading card game, sometimes, you know, merely about luck you can be facing off a an elite four challenge and you can get critted or you can get hexed and you just lost that battle but what did you learn that maybe next time hopefully not get critted or hopefully you know not get that hex and maybe you can win sometimes we do run into bad luck like that but that's just how it is you can try again just keep searching one of the major things that i've seen is uh they usually sell pokeballs for like 40 dollars when you can go to costco and buy three of them for $24 or you can go to Sam's Club and buy one Pokeball tin and one of the Evolutions tin for $24 um, but yeah look for stuff like that if you don't have a membership to Costco or Sam's Club ask a friend you know or maybe a relative and you can be like hey aunt, hey uncle any chance do you guys have Sam's Club or a Costco membership you know or maybe tag along with someone or a friend you know if you don't have a ride or if you don't have the transportation Find somebody who does and be like hey you know it can be a cool experience for you to just go out hunting for stuff that is in the spirit of this game you go on an adventure try to find or catch them all yeah like like it says in their slogan live that experience in the end of the day do you want to be losing money or do you just want to be enjoying it and just seeing everything you can pull anything that you can pull even if it's newer stuff you know it's still gonna have some value to it whether it's for you to keep in your personal collection or for you to sell later on. It's just the type of environment that we live in. I know I'm currently not the biggest PokeTuber or the biggest person in this community. But hey, I'm starting to see stuff. I'm starting to learn stuff. And maybe with some of the knowledge that I've currently gained in the last few months that I've been doing this at a bigger bowl. Because I used to do this as a smaller bowl. I did have cards before. I have my collection. But it wasn't anything that I was like, hey, let's continue going. Let's continue going. As I've been seeing that more and more cards are getting harder to come by start looking for stuff give people heads up if you see a sale or if you see something don't be afraid to tell maybe someone you know or some of your friends be like hey there's a sale going on uh also if you guys don't know this talking about spreading word of mouth gamestop does pre-orders on on certain sets or certain product uh just go and ask them be like hey do you know if you guys are doing any pre-orders on certain things most of the time they'll look up for stuff for you or they'll be like yeah i have a pre-order for this or i'll have a pre-order for that most of these products you can put five dollars down you can get a pre-order for it paid off as it's going on it's a pre-order you have time to save up the money if it's something that's sixty dollars five dollars that uh you know within a few weeks by the time it, the product's released you have less than the sixty dollars to pay ask be friendly with the people get to know more people in this community you know spread that awareness don't just be like hey go to places find some stuff look around also if you don't find anything at walmart target best buy any of those popular retailers support your local car shops go around see what they have browse around most of the times they'll have something for pretty cheap and most of the time you'll make a profit off of it or you can get to know some people 
always make your collection bigger. There's always going to be stuff, singles that are pretty popular, or singles that you maybe have never seen at a pretty cheap price that you've seen for more expensive. And just be like, I'm getting this for my personal collection. Yeah. This video was more of an awareness for people and just to get to talk to you guys. And just be like, hey, don't always go after those harder to come by stuff. And don't always give your money to big companies like who will rip you off. And in the end of the day, your wallet's more affected than anything else. Continue your passion for Pokemon and try to save as much money and try to be as smart as possible. Said, if you see a fellow aficionado, talk to them. Ask them where they get stuff. But yeah, guys, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. If there's anything else you guys want to know or just leave a comment to let me know some stuff, by all means, leave it down there. Thanks for watching. See you next time.